In this video, we're gonna talk about how to select elements. We already talked about one, which is a type selector. And another one we're gonna look at today is actually called the universal selector. Um, these are very basic selectors. There's nothing too much to them besides you know basic ideas of selecting them. And what we're gonna do is look at the type selector first because that's the first thing we uh, talked about in this series. So what I have is just uh, this um, basic HTML document and I linked a CSS style sheet or CSS file to this document uh, called index.css. And that's where I'm gonna use, uh, where, where I'm gonna put the CSS code. So in this uh, index.php file, um, there's a div uh, containing various uh, headers and paragraphs. And what I'm gonna do is actually style um, these elements by using the, the type selector, meaning all, I, all I'm using is the name of the tag when choosing um, the element in CSS. So let's just change the background color of the div. So all you simply have to do is write the name of the tag, which is div, and we're gonna apply a background color of some random color that is RGBA. So let's do red, which is gonna be zero, let's say 87 for green, and then maybe seven for uh, blue, and then an opacity of 5%. So now that we have that, um, first let me show you the document. So this is the document without any of the CSS, and now we're gonna re refresh the page with that, um, with that styling. So that's basically what that, that's how you use that selector, it's just using the name of the tag that is in the HTML document. So now that we have that, um, the next thing we want to look at is the universal selector. So for this uh, purpose, I'm going to get rid of this, or actually I'm going to comment this out for later. Um, and I'll talk about the reason why. And uh, so the universal selector looks like that. That's basically what you use, and then you use the brackets as, you know, for the declaration block. So the universal selector is basically what it is. It's, it selects everything that is on the document. So it doesn't matter what element it is, just on the document. And it, it follows the tree of the HTML document, so that's that's what we'll get into later. So basically, if I want to change the background color of everything of the of the of the HTML document, uh, let's make it pink with yeah. So let just make it pink. And uh, basically, it chooses every element on the page, including the body, the div, the H1, the paragraph, and the other elements on the page and changes the styling of, of those elements because that's what's being displayed on the screen. So it chooses everything within that scope. So this is the, t the top scope, meaning everything is chosen. So what we have here is now everything is pink, including the background color, which I think we could check this out. So we could see that the universal element let me see if I could move this out. Okay, I guess I'll, I'll edit it. So the universal element is right here, and it's being applied, or everything is being inherited um, by this color. So every element, H1, is getting the pink color because it's getting inherited by the universal selector. So that's what that does. Now, I was talking about scope earlier, and basically, let's say I don't want everything to be pink, but everything within a certain container I want to be pink. So let's look back at the HTML document. So what we have is this div, and it's acting as a container or a partition or a division, which is a short way to say div, or the longer way to say div. And um, it basically categorizes this content in this way. And basically, let's recopy this. Let's let's recopy and uh, recopy or copy and paste this. And let's look at this div and call it. Um, let's give it an ID. We haven't learned this yet, but let's just go along with it. This is just another way to identify an element. So I'm going to call it uh, 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 box or something. I don't know. Okay. So now we have two elements. So basically, I want this div right here to take the take a background color or everything inside the container or inside the div, I want the background color to be pink. So what I could do is actually comment this out and get rid of this. So let me show you how that would look on this document. So if we refresh the page, um, both the elements, the div tags, who have the name div, um, are taking the background color green as we specified in the CSS. So that's what's happening now. So basically what I want to do 
is actually choose the div and everything inside by using the universal selector and changing the background color to pink. Okay, so what would happen is that the, the div itself will still remain green, the body of the HTML document will remain white, and everything within the green div element will be turning into a pink color. So let's refresh the page, and there you go. So we have the header tag being, being pink, the paragraph tag, the other header tag, and the other um, paragraph tag, and then the whole process again for this other div container. So, and the reason, I don't know why I used the idea, I thought it was, it was gonna be beneficial, but I guess we could jump ahead a little bit. So let's say we have the, um, we choose the ID called box, or the div element called box, and basically we could repeat this process by choosing everything within the div container with the ID box, and make it a background color of, I don't know, purple or something, or blue, let's shoot blue. So blue, and let's see what would happen. So where is my, um, there it is. So let's refresh the page and there you go. So now everything within the, the, the ID element called the box is now blue. So everything in here is blue, everything in here is pink. And that's by using the type selector, which is the HTML tag name, and as well as a universal selector, which selects everything within the given scope. So there, there's the very top scope, which is just by itself, or you can specify an element by using a type selector, such as a div, to specify everything within that scope or within that container. So that's it for this video, very basic idea. Um, you can ignore this for now. We'll explain IDs and classes later on, but that's just one basic way, or two basic ways to select elements so you can start styling them on your web page.